was in the office when fire started, I heard the noise from outside. I ran out to find out what was happening. Reaching the place, the fire that the house had caught fire, and I could see it from uh, through the window and the and the doors. I the, all the doors were locked and the windows, and there was no student inside. So I actually mobilized people to uh, bring the fire extinguishers. Uh, the attempt to use the fire extinguishers could not actually materialize, and we turned actually to use a uh, water. Uh, the community joined us and we were able actually to put the fire down after a long struggle. Nothing was salvaged and there was nobody who was actually hurt. The dome housed uh, 68 students. The steps we are taking, we are actually going to meet and see what can be done. Of course, we cannot actually start saying no because we didn't actually plan for that kind of eventuality, but you know, that things will be well. When they come, we'll actually see how we can accommodate them. Whether it will actually force us to actually pick some mattresses so that they can actually sleep on other classes because not all our classes are occupied. The challenge is actually the mattresses and the blankets, mm. but the rooms can actually be available. I received the report of fire, the school dormitory fire from the deputy principal, that the fire started at around 7.30 p.m. Now, the police, as police, we rushed to the scene and established that the dormitory that is constructed of iron sheets and housing uh, 68 students had completely been burned and the property for the students completely burned. That is the books and their clothing. The students were not at the, were not in the dormitory at the time of fire because the school had closed. So we suspect that the cause of fire could be an electric fault, which we are going to investigate.